These are all robocalls. What is super bizarre is how these companies got my number, a number that nobody in the world had. You see, I ran an experiment. I wanted to see how these companies are getting our personal information and tracking our phones all over the web. So I got a brand new number that nobody on the planet had. And yet somehow my number was harvested and sold. How? Let me show you what I did and what you need to do to protect your personal information so you don't land up on these lists. Let's be honest, we've all done this. It's time to grab something to eat. So you go to a restaurant's website, you click on the order in button, you add some items to your shopping cart, and then of course you gotta give them your information, including your phone number. And it says that the phone number is used to update you on the status of your order. Seems innocent enough, right? Well, let me show you something that 95% of people don't do. And of course, I'm talking about reading the terms and condition and the privacy statement. Because if you did, well, we're gonna send you marketing and communication either directly or through a third party. Third party is the key word here. And if that wasn't clear enough, it actually says we're enabling our merchant or our business partners either directly or through a third party to advertise their product and services to you. By simply placing an order at this lovely restaurant, what I am legally agreeing to is to allow them to sell my information. And it's not the poor restaurant's fault, they're just signed up for a service that helps them manage their takeout orders. But that provider now has all my data, including my cell phone number. And that is super dangerous. Armed with your personal identifiable information, their third party partners are now able to track you all over the web and build a lovely profile on you. And that profile goes up for sale. And what makes this super valuable is that they have the one piece of information that most of us never change for years and years. And that is our cell phone numbers. This has become our unique identifiers. And yet it's the one piece of information we're willingly handing out without a second thought. Booking into a hotel? Sure, here's my cell phone number. Going to an event? Of course you need my cell phone number. Signing up for some service online? Sure, you need to verify me through a text message. And just like that, we've been placed on lists to get those irritating robocalls, spam calls from companies selling anything and everything from extended car warranties to soliciting for political donation, all based on what we happen to be clicking on. And by the way, that's the best case scenario because the worst case scenario is when hackers and scammers get their hands on your cell phone numbers on the dark web because yet another company had a corporate data leak. I mean, just go to Google and do this. Go do a quick lookup on your own cell phone number. Hell, do it on everybody's cell phone numbers in your family and see just how much information comes up. It's a privacy mess. And let's be honest, we're not gonna change our phone number every time there is yet another data leak. So most of us have just accepted that it is what it is, but it doesn't need to be. If you've had enough of all this nonsense and you want your privacy back and you want those robo calls to stop, here is what you should do. Look, ideally, we should have two numbers. You have one number that is your public staff for booking your dinner reservations, and then you have one number that is your private one that you give out to family and friends. Super easy, yes. Carrying two phones, no thank you. Well, thanks to modern technology, we no longer need to carry two phones because our cell phones typically would have an option to either have dual SIMs or be able to handle something called an eSIM. The next thing you need to do is get another number. And that is super simple. Now this section is sponsored by Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile currently has a special at $15 a month for unlimited talk, unlimited data. So that's a great way to get your second number. Choose a physical SIM or an eSIM, add to cart, and then we're ready to activate our SIM and get this thing going. So we do that by going to the network settings on our phone, click on add, at the bottom, you have an option to download an eSIM instead of a physical SIM if you've chosen that option. Then you wanna download the eSIM like you would any other app. You simply follow the prompt, scan the little QR code that pops up. Now you, all you wanna do is enable the eSIM and it says, do you wanna turn on Mint Mobile? You say yes, but check this out. When you click on call preferences, it will ask you when you make a call 
Do you want to use your existing provider or Mint Mobile? Same with SMSs. Do you want to use your existing provider or Mint Mobile? Or ask me every single time. Like I have here, I'm about to make a call. Well, which number do I want to use? The Mint Mobile or my existing provider? Same with the text message. And the same thing even with voicemail. So now your cell phone will have two numbers. One that is out there and one that is brand new that nobody knows about. When it comes to making calls, you can choose which number to use. And you're going to choose your new super secret number only to the people who need to have it. Now, of course, you're going to go into your banking system or any sensitive information system that requires an SMS-based PIN, and you're gonna update it with your new super secret number. Now, that's the simplest solution, but it's still not perfect. So, let's level up, and here is the best thing you can do if you really wanna step it up and be more private. You can port your existing number to a VoIP provider like Google Voice. And that means that they now are hosting your cell phone number. It only costs like a once off $20 and there is no monthly fee. Any call or text that comes in goes straight to voicemail and that gets transcribed and emailed to you. So now you can choose who to reply to and you don't lose your existing number, it's still active. Now, here's the best bit. As this is a VoIP service, it means that it lives out on the internet with the provider, and that is much harder to track back to you. Almost like a VPN for your cell phone number. But for VoIP to work, it needs data. No problem when you're at home, you have your Wi-Fi. But when you're out, also no problem because you've got that Mint Mobile data service that you're simply gonna use. And let's really take it to the next level. Create multiple VoIP numbers. So you can have one number that you use for business only, one number for family and friends, and one number that you're going to use from now on for making those reservations and filling out all those forms. And your current number, you just keep active, but you never use. Now that is taking control. Head over to mintmobile.com slash Liron and take control of your privacy and your data. Now, you must also check out this video where I show you how to remove your information from the web or check out this video that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here and to subscribe and let's get to a million sub mark. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in this video or this video. Let's go.